So darn a late winner here is Dennis Muir to get a 1-0 win, what was your thoughts on that? Yeah, brilliant, absolutely brilliant and, and again great rewards for the fans that came in back to us. Uh, you seen them, well, you, never mind, you seen them, you heard them as soon as we came out there in the tunnel straight away and it was pff, what a roar we got um, and again they backed us all through the game, they backed us all season and hopefully now we're, we're kind of repaying that um, and again no better way to, to get a winning goal in the last, the last minute, last kick of the ball and uh, great, great cross for Geeks, does a wee drag back, uh, does a wee drag back and beats, beats a winger um, and but the ball was brilliant and then Dale, somebody you want to end it up is, is Dale Carrick and again he finishes it off for his 25th of the season, great composer to put it down and then a great strength. Yeah and of course you mentioned the fans, it must be great to them come out from numbers and really get behind the boys. Yeah and no, they've, they've been like that since I've came here to be honest and gradually over the last, kind of, last six months to ten months you can kind of see them, they're coming back and again it's, it's all down to the, the players on the pitch, uh, they're going how hard they work and how well they've played um, the, the day again delighted to get the clean sheet um, so kind of first and foremost we, we, we felt if we could get a clean sheet then we would get the chances uh, it was a pretty even game to be honest fair play to them they, they gave us a game and they've had one or two chances I thought maybe we had the kind of more clear cut or kind of better chances throughout the game um, but at the same time it's we've managed to, to steal that right to the end and, and my family them that I'd be absolutely gutted but at the same time um, it's, it's a great three points for us and, and pushes us that wee bit closer. You must be delighted with the way the back four defended all game. Yeah, outstanding. Outstanding. They've, dealt with, they've had two or three different players up top and out wide and they, they, they kind of caused us problems. But uh, to a man, they, they stuck to their task defensively from the front two all the way back midfield, defence, goalkeeper. Brilliant and great to see them getting that clean sheet. Another quick turnaround for Dumbarton again on Tuesday. How do you approach that one? Yeah, hopefully it's um, first time lucky. Hopefully we can get the game on. Um, and again, everybody know what it means. Um, yeah, yeah, nine, nine points with four games to go. So it's a, it's a, it's a massive game, uh, biggest game for the, for the club for a wee while. And if we can get that over the line, that's what we'll certainly be, be aiming towards and, and aiming for. Um, again, we want to go there and, and get the three points. We want to go and win the game. Uh, uh, and again, we'll, we'll see how the guys are. We'll rest, recover. Uh, we'll see how there are any injuries or any knocks because we're putting a hell of a shift. And what's your message to the fans ahead of that Dumbarton game? Coming back is, I think, like they did the last time, uh, and then unfortunately they had to go and get the refunds straight after the game. And we spoke to them after the game, quite a few of them, and they were they were gutted. But, uh, but look, it sh should be on now. I think the weather forecast is looking good moving forward, so it's, it's that we step closer. And hopefully everyone's there, and, and hopefully it's a, a good night. We know it's it's not over and done yet, but at the same time, a victory on, on Tuesday can sort that. Excellent, Dan. Thanks a lot. Thank you.